Shalom and welcome to Simmons of Torah. This year is entitled Afyom Yivam Wat Tzadi Gimel Amad Bet. The Gemara discusses the case of Kedushin Al Tanai. The specific case is a man is engaged to a woman, a non Jewish woman, on condition that she will convert or that he will convert. So there's a few different issues involved here. There's one con- question of Kedushin Al Tanai. Is it such a phenomenon of making Kedushin with a certain condition? And then the specific case uh, here where can you go ahead and have a Kedushin uh, with a person who's going to be a Giyoret and uh, A, she's not Jewish at this point, and B, it's a Davish Lobala She's not a, uh, a Giyoret yet. So there's a lot of issues involved here where we certainly cannot touch upon them now in this short mini year, but I'll just mention a little bit that Kedushin al Tanai, when a person does make Kedushin al Tanai, the Shochanach writes that if he has all the various conditions that are involved, then yes, there's such a phenomenon of a Kedushin al Tanai, and the Tanai is a serious one. The person says, I'm engaging you, and here's the Pruta, Rehmu Kedesh Ali al Menat, with the condition that when my father hears about this Kedushin, he approves of it. Then that is a serious condition, and the father needs to approve. Or, um, this is the Kedushin, al not that I don't hear my father rejecting it. So we don't need the father's active approval, we just cannot hear him reject it. One difference would be, has shown the father dies. So if we, first condition was that we need his approval, he didn't approve, it's not a Kedushin. Second one was only if he rejects it, and he didn't reject it, he passed away. And the Shulchan Aruch and Sibon Laman Chad and Eben gives a list of various kinds of tenayim, of, of conditions, and which ones have to be fulfilled, which ones don't have to be fulfilled, and what does it mean for them to be fulfilled? The person's on uh, a condition that I have a certain amount of money. So he has to show that amount of money. And the list goes on and on. So the Shulchanat does right, as long as you have the four conditions, it's considered proper tenai. The toast for Sanawadaf talks about Davish Lobal Olam regarding a Giyore, a Ger, and there's a fascinating insight that a person is a person. The goof is here. And, then, and the only thing that's lacking is the Halashem Geras. The status of Geras is not. And Tosfos does mention the possibility that that would not be considered something that Lo Davish didn't come into the world yet. Now, those that say you cannot really deal, make uh, conditions, you cannot make Kinyanim with something that's Lo Davish Lobal Olam didn't come into the world yet. But over here, even according to those she told, it may be Davash Olam because the physical body is already here, just we need the status of Geras. That's a fascinating additional point in the whole Sugya here. So, just in sum, if the Tanai has all the right conditions, Allah Hakalitz Tanai, and that would make the Kedushin dependent on the Tanai, and then a Chiddush from Maradav regarding Davash Lobal Olam, so it didn't come into the world yet. The Chiddush of Tosfos, that a ger may not be defined as Davish Lobal Olam, since the physical goof, the body, is already here. It's just as a conceptual change that is added on. They may not be considered Davish Lobal Olam. Shalom.